Hi, kid. Important question. Do you speak fish? Oh, of course I do. Oh, fish or fish? Uh, I expect you to speak fish. Well, but did you know I speak several fish dialects, including dolphin? Incredible. I speak English because I've been watching Kid Time Storytime since I was a small fry. And Abuela Bear, hola, she's teaching me to speak Espanol. Si, si. Increíble. And she was a giraffe. Bonjour. Is teaching me to speak Le Francais. Oui, oui. Incroyable. And Farrah Fox here is teaching me Southern. Bless your heart. Not exactly a language. But back to the question at hand. Do you speak fish? What happens if you do? What happens if you don't? Let's find out. Do, do, do. I mean, I was thinking that speaking fish would maybe come in handy at the beach. Yeah, the ocean, diving, snorkeling. Underwater, in case you have fish in your tub. A boy ran into a fish. He said, hello, fish. But the fish didn't reply. Hello. Hey, fish. I'm talking to you. But the fish just looked at him. How rude, the boy said, and walked away. Ow, ow, ow. I totally understand what happened with my friend Goldie and this young fella. What, what, what happened? Oh, she wasn't rude at all, but I don't want to tell you what happened. Well, why not? Because I don't want to give it away. Let me just say, this was just a misunderstanding. Oh, well, I guess that's a bit of a clue. The boy ran into a lion. Uh-oh. He said, hello, lion. But the lion just... Ignored him. Actually, the lion gave him a little side eye. Frankly, you kind of want the lion to ignore you. You know what I mean? Hey, lion, don't be rude. I'm talking to you, the boy screamed. Oh, this is such a abysmal idea. And oh, look who's paying attention now, the lion. <laughs> into a bee. He said, hello, bee. The bee didn't say anything. Okay, okay. You know what? After that last incident with the lion, the last thing that this kid is going to do is start yelling at the bee and, oh no, he's yelling at the bee. The boy threw his hands in the air and yelled, what's your problem, bee? Oh, Look who's paying attention now and getting quite red in the face. That was a bad idea too. Yeah, it was. Run, kid, run. Okay. The next page has a tree. And the trees don't sting nor do they bite. So I think we're in the clear, I think. The boy came across a tree. Hello there, the tree said. The boy was surprised. Wouldn't you be? He didn't expect the tree to say anything. Did, did, did you just say hello, the boy asked. It would be rude not to said the tree. I agree. The fish I talked to was very rude. She just ignored me. That was Goldie, uh, Fisha Fish's friend, who she says wasn't rude at all, but we'll figure that out. Well, do you speak fish? The tree asked. Why would I speak fish? I'm a kid. Oh, why would the fish speak kid? She's a fish, the tree said. Well, everyone should speak kid. That's the way it is. Not for a fish. The tree explained. I mean, right? That fish was raised by other fish. And what did they speak in the fish home? Fish. Yes, fish. Why would they speak kid? I mean, would the kid be raised by two grown-ups who spoke fish? No, unless the kid was a fish. You see what I'm saying here? This tree, smart. But wait, I, I understand you. 
the boy pointed out. Well, I learned to speak kid from a frog, the tree explained. Well, I don't speak fish, the boy grumbled, still kind of stinging from all that alleged rejection, right? I can teach you, the tree offered. You speak fish too? A carrot taught me, the tree replied. Carrot. <laughs> She's got a funny face. He's like, what? Funny face? What? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. The tree laughed. Everyone knows carrots can talk. <laughs> that tree. He's a, she's a kidder. So the tree taught the boy to speak fish. I should have known she was joking. Trees really know how to pull your leg, which is amazing considering they don't have legs. The boy went back to the fish. Oh, back to the beginning. Okay, with the new language skills. Let's see what happens. And said, hello, fish. Except, except, this time it sounded more like blurp, blip, blurp, blurp. And, oh, look, he's got her attention this time. She is not ignoring him. The fish smiled and said, Blurp, blip, blurp. <gasps> Suddenly, the fish didn't seem so rude. Well, thank you. It is a nice day out, the boy replied back. Blurp, blurp. So long. Oh, we got a translation now. Now that we all speak fish, we got the translation for the fish language. Next up, whoa. This kid is crazy brave or Crazy reckless, either way, I think the kid's a little crazy, right? Okay. The boy went back to the lion. The lion looked at him, confused, which is so far better than angry, progress. The lion burst out laughing so hard that he fell backwards with his legs in the air. And the boy looked puzzled. He wasn't sure if what he said came out right. Maybe it was better he didn't know. Yeah, just in case he said something accidentally obnoxious and didn't mean to. Just, yeah, keep on going, kid. Keep on going. Keep moving on. The boy was feeling, oh, a little embarrassed when he ran into the bee again. Ah, yes, it is always awkward when one runs into a bee and the last time you met, you were angry and she was angry with you. Uh-huh. Yes, and you look into each other's eyes across a cafe and you haven't seen each other in so long and it is awkward and you don't know where to begin. Do you apologize? Do, does she still love you? Is there still a chance that you can recover your special friendship? What is happening right now? I'm just uh, uh, talking about the bee. That is all I'm talking about, not about my own personal life. Although, you know, I have lived. Oh. Gilles, hello? The bee suddenly said. <gasps> Stunned, the boy replied, Um, hello? You speak kid? A, z z a little bit. Uh, a fish just taught me. She said a boy was kind enough to learn fish. We know who that boy is. So she thought she should try to learn to speak kid. A tree taught her. Z z and that made the boy happy. Everybody has been learning each other's languages. From then on, the boy, the bee, the fish, and the lion would sit by the tree each day and share stories. Sometimes they would speak kid. Sometimes they would speak fish or bee or lion. Roar, roar, roar. They always worked to understand each other. And their world got a whole lot bigger. Oh, the ending gave me chills because it's what I've always said. The minute that you learn another language, kid, your world 
not only gets bigger, you have an opportunity to make twice as many friends because you can talk to twice as many people than you could before. Ooh, that's right. Because of Hootie, I speak owl. Ooh. Yes, Two-Tone, you did teach me how to speak cat. Y gracias a mí, hablas español. Yes, thanks to Abuela Bear, I do speak perfect Spanish. Eh, your French is passable. It's a work in progress, okay? Oh, I have good news! I was just talking to a grasshopper. Of course you were. And she told me that if you flip the page, you're going to find out what the lion heard the boy say when he tried to speak lion. Oh, another benefit. Okay, let's see. <gasps> Did you know the boy once told me his feet smell worse than hippopotamus breath? No wonder the lion was cracking up. See? And thanks to the grasshopper that Fuchsia Fish is somehow now speaking to, thanks to her speaking that language, we were able to get in on the secret joke. So, kid, get out there. Your whole world is full of people who speak other languages. Let them be your teacher, and you can teach them right back.